Hello friends, welcome to Devs Coding Hub. So in this 11th video of the HTML series, we will learn about list. So let us see the objectives of this session. First we will learn what is list, then we will go for the type of lists. The first one is ordered list, the second one is unordered list and the third one is definition list. And after that we will see how to nest a list inside another list that is nesting of lists. So what is list? In HTML, a list is a collection of related items displayed in a well-formed and semantic way. That means, if I want to display something using numbering or some symbols, I can use list. So suppose I want to write three points. So what I can do, I can use ordered list to write the points like 1, 2, 3 or A, B, C. Or if I want to put some symbols in front, what I can do, I can create one unordered list. So let us see the type of list we can create in HTML. The first type is ordered list. Ordered list is a list where items are kept in order by putting number in front. Okay. Next list is unordered list. In case of unordered list, we don't use numbers. Instead, we use some symbol called bullets. And the third type of list is definition list, where we can use block text definitions. So let us see the ordered list. In ordered list, the first numbering style we can use is 1, 2, 3. And the second one is ABC in uppercase. Third one is ABC in small letters or lowercase. And then Roman 1 to 3 in capital and Roman 1 to 3 in small letters or lowercase. So these are the five types of ordered list we can create. Ordered list using numbers, it is also called numbered list. The next type is unordered list. In unordered list, we use symbols called bullets. The first symbol that is used in unordered list is called disk, which is a field circle. The second symbol you can use is the circle itself with outline. And the third one is a square. So these are the three different symbols that can be used in unordered list. As because unordered list uses only symbols, these are sometimes called bulleted list. The third type is definition list, which uses block text definitions to create a list. So let us jump to our first topic or first type of list, which is ordered list. So let us save our new file. We have a folder in desktop called HTML and inside HTML we have two folders, IMG and SRC. And inside SRC, I'll be keeping all HTML files or source files. So the name I have given is ol.htm, where it stands for ordered list. So file is saved. So let us generate the HTML page. Let us write the title as ordered list. And let us come to the body so that we can write the list. So in this, we will be writing one heading one or first level of heading which is RGB color codes that means we are going to display what RGB color code okay what are the three colors that are there in RGB color code as a list so RGB stands for red green blue there are three colors okay so we will be displaying it using an ordered list so let us write OL tag that stands for ordered list 
and inside that ordered list we'll be writing list items which stands for li so let us write the li tag and in the first li tag i'll be writing the name of the first color which is red r for red and in the second list item i'll be writing green g for green and then in the third list item i'll be writing blue b for blue so rgb stands for red green blue so these are the three colors that are going to be displayed so let us save the file press ctrl p to load it in the browser so now we can see that rgb color code is displayed in heading one and the list we have got is red green blue that are displayed using the numbering style 1 2 and 3 so this is the default style which gives us 1 2 3 or arabic 1 2 3 as the default list style in ordered list now if i want to change this to capital a what i can write i can put one attribute called type so if i write type well space type followed by capital a and save the file refresh the page now see we have got what a red b green and c blue now this is how by using the type attribute you can what change now if i write type as one save the file and reload i'll be able to see one two three so the type arabic one two three is the default one if we write one then also it will be one two three if we don't write the type attribute then also it will be one two three now let us go for the next type okay which is small a let us save refresh the page now you can see that it is displayed using lowercase abc next type is roman one in capital so i have written capital i okay so let us save and refresh now you can see that red green blue is written using capital one two three in roman now if i put small i as type and save and reload or refresh the page okay i'll be able to see one two three which is written in small letters or lowercase so this is how we can change the numbering style in an ordered list so ordered list is capable of displaying these five numbering styles now suppose i want to start the list from a number five so i've set the type as one now how to do this i'll put one more attribute which is called start and then i'll write five as the value so that means we are starting from five let us save reload now see the list is starting from five so we can change the numbering of the list by using what start attribute so this is how we can write ordered lists now let us move to unordered list unordered list is a kind of list where instead of putting numbers we put some symbols called bullets okay so let us save this file with a new name so we'll do a save as instead of ol we'll write what ul that is what unordered list dot htm so we've created our file the modifications we have to do is to change the title unordered list and then everything will be same RGB color code will show the three color codes of RGB. Okay. Instead of OL, I should be writing UL. So UL stands for unordered list. Inside UL, if I put all these the list items, red, green, blue, I'll be able to see a list where the items are shown by putting the this symbol in front 
So let us save and load. So this is our output. Now see as we are using UL, we are getting what? Disk in front of the list items. Now disk is a default type as because we haven't specified the type. Okay. Still we have got what disk. So disk is the default type. Now let us change the type to circle. If I write circle, let us refresh after saving. See, we have got the circle as the bullet for every list item. Okay. And the third one is square. Let us save and refresh the page. Okay. So now I have got the square bullets in front of the list items. Now, if I write this here, then also you will be able to see the disk. That means this is the default. So this is how we will be creating unordered list. Remember as because there is no numbering in unordered list. So there is no concept of start attribute. So let us now move to the next type of list which is definition list. So let us again do a save as and this time we will save the file as dl definition list dot htm let us save let us change the title to definition list definition list actually displays a list of definitions with the term and its description we will change the heading one as list of definitions and here instead of ul we will be writing what dl as our tag dl stands for definition list now inside definition list we have to specify the term for which we are going to define so it is denoted by dt tag dt stands for dt stands for definition term so here i'm writing html as the definition term and for the description we are writing dd tag dd stands for data description or the definition term description so i'm writing hypertext markup language similarly i can add one more so i'm copying this so the next term suppose is ftp that is file transfer protocol used to transfer files so let us save and load the page in browser see this is a definition list outcome so there is a term and a description and the description is indented like block code so we have a collection of terms followed by its description so this is how definition list can be created in html so let us move to the next topic which is nested lists now nested list is not a kind of list okay it is just putting one list inside another to create a sub list so let us save this file as nl nested list dot htm let us change the title to nested list suppose i want to display hierarchy of computer so i want to display it like this first point will be one computer and there will be two sub points which will be denoted by numbering cell a hardware and b software so here we have a sub list under computer which is the only item in the parent list so to create like this we'll have to write what ol because it is in order 
So I put well and in the well, the first list item will be what? Computer. So we'll write one list item. Computer. So let us see how it looks. Let us save. Launch in browser. It is showing one computer. Now to create a sub list, okay, what we can do before closing this list, we can create another list. Now this list item will be what displayed using ABC numbering. Okay, so we can use the type attribute and write A. Then we'll close the list. Now see inside this list, which is a sub list, we have two items. First one is hardware and the second one is software so if we save this page we'll be able to see the nested list see inside computer we have two sub list options which are hardware and software and they are denoted by a and b now if i want to change this to a square bullet symbol I will change the list type which is UL and the type should be what? Square. Let us save. A refresh. Now you can see that it is computer and under that we have hardware and software. So in HTML nested lists are lists that are written inside another list. That's all for nested list. We will meet in the next tutorial.